am Yun Chen from GovZero community. GovZero community is an open source Civitec community from Taiwan and very kind of decentralized zip spirit. And one of its projects is called This Factory. It's a platform to help citizens to map and report illegal factories on farmlands in Taiwan. And I'm the product manager of This Factory as an open source contributor. And I want to introduce how we collaborate in this talk. So first, the idea of this factory was very simple. The civil society organization who raised this idea called Citizens of Earth Taiwan, they want something very simple that you can just take a photo and you can mark the location and then the data can be automatically printed out as the official document sent to the government so they can do their campaign and advocacy. So for the past year, we got some results, A factories, were demolished and others are still in process. And that's all I want to share with you about what is this factory about because today I want to focus more on how we did it. When I say we, it's a very loose open source community, Gov0, and a CSO with agenda to push, that is Citizens of Earth Taiwan. So. It's actually about how to herd the cats, product management, and open collaborations in Civitech projects. So the story begins like that. The CSO came to the GovZero Hackathon. They have an idea, really brilliant idea, and they wish they can find some wizards to help them solve everything or magically build something. However, they might be a little bit disappointed because they actually met a color of cats. They are very good at what they are doing, but they are very independent. They only do things they are interested in. Once they lose their interest, they just leave. So how can this happen? How we make something deliver on time and impactful? As a product manager of this project, I want to share my experience on this in four factors. The first one I want to introduce is the goals. It's very important to set up our goals in open source projects like this because we have more than 40 contributors across five time zones. We have uh, 10 weekly active developers and people are floating in, floating out in the project. So you really, really need the goals, the North Star to let everybody on the same page to see, okay, that's where we are going and we see how, what we can do to get there. So even a lone wolf can collaborate and help us to go to that destination. And for me personally, other than the digital product, one of my goals is also the empowerment of CFIR society organization and open source communities. Okay, now we have the goals, but how do we get there? We cannot just jump to the moon, right? So the next step of the product development is so important to keep it agile. And within the HR process, I think scoping is the most important part because we have very limited human resources. So we cannot afford doing something nice to have. So this is the diagram that is focused on what the simple structure or the core features we need to deliver. So then we can break it down into different modules and de develop the first modules first and then later to develop other parts. So that's what we're doing. We have the map for reporting and then we have dashboard and then we are not even now even making online interactive games for the netizens to spot the difference, help us to mark the new factories. So the first two are very traditional product management stuff. And the third one I want to talk is about open by default. I think this, that's the only way that you can make this kind of loose and open collaboration happen because we open our every meeting memos online and of course our source code uh, design and everything. So it's accessible for everyone who want to join the project. We also have online workspace, everybody can join the discussion. So if you are a newcomer, you can just pick up a small text and then if you like working with us, you can take us larger tasks to do a longer run. That's why we break down the tickets. And also the milestone things also help people who want to leave the project know that 
your products can be live in good hands. So the last one, it's actually the most important one and the most interesting one. The NCSO staff always asks why you guys want to contribute your free time to this project without pay. And the developer's answer is because it's fun, it's open source, and it's for social good. Fun is the first priority. And fun here not only means that we have really good snacks and drinks in the meetup, but it means that they can try new technology, they can explore uh, their professions, they can do what they couldn't do in their day hand job, enjoy the freedom and autonomy to contribute, contribute to a project. And as for the CSO, I'm very glad that they know that this technology is not just building a website. It's a new culture, it's a new way of collaboration. I was so happy that they told me they started to use online share drive for internal communication. So to wrap up this talk, there are four takeaways. First, open by default. If you want to build something for civic participation, then your project itself should be civic participation. Second, keep it fun. That's how you build a motivated team. The third, always keep an eye on your goals because you are here to fix the society, not just the website. Last but not least is the agile. Please, please, please always testing what user need before you started to build something huge. That's the hard lesson I learned from my last failure. And today I'm very happy to share my experience and I want this can bring up more discussion about product management and open collaboration in Civitech. Because that's how we can build the Civitech that really is of the people, by the people, for the people. Thank you very much.